In recent years, the Colorado River, a crucial resource for millions across seven U.S. states and two Mexican states, has garnered significant attention due to a startling revelation. It is depleting at an alarming pace. Scientists predict a permanent decrease in water levels of 5 to 20 feet over the next 40 years. This unprecedented event has raised alarms among numerous cities depending on the river, prompting scientists to confront the consequences and seek solutions. Join us today as we explore the Colorado River crisis, investigating the numerous factors driving it, from climate instability and industrial agriculture to the uncovering of hidden issues within the river. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. In the heart of the Southwest, where the majestic Colorado River has long sustained communities, a crisis is emerging. Through a recent collaborative effort by seven states along the Colorado River, a plan has been put forward to address the alarming depletion of this crucial waterway. This strategic initiative to cut water allocations has set off a chain reaction, leaving cities in the surrounding valleys uncertain about their future water supply. The Colorado River, often revered as a symbol of life for the arid region, serves as a vital source of drinking water for an astonishing 36 million people. Its waters are essential for agriculture, nourishing crops that support communities and livelihoods. However, the current drought affecting the river is not merely the result of nature's whims. It highlights the complex interplay between human activities and environmental sustainability. Whether instability plays a central role in this unfolding drama, as fluctuations in rain and snowfall significantly contribute to the Colorado River's decreasing water levels. Yet, this is not the only factor in our water crisis saga. Industrial farming, a major water consumer, uses an astonishing 75% of the river's water for irrigation. As vast tracts of agricultural land draw their lifeblood from the Colorado, the river bears the burden, inching closer to a critical state of depletion. The repercussions of this crisis echo through major cities that rely on the Colorado River for their essential water needs. Los Angeles, San Diego, and Denver find themselves at the center of growing concerns about the sustainability of their water supply. As the river's flow diminishes, the pressing question of how to secure a future water source looms large over these urban areas. This situation compels communities and policymakers to confront the stark reality of a shrinking water supply and to seek viable solutions. As the waters of the Colorado River recede, a haunting revelation surfaces. Dark secrets, hidden beneath its depths for decades, are now exposed. In the drying expanse of Lake Mead, a reservoir along the Colorado River, the startling discovery of human remains adds a ghastly twist to the unfolding environmental saga. National Park Rangers stumbled upon skeletal fragments, triggering a complex investigation to unravel the mysteries surrounding the deceased and to determine the cause of their deaths. But the river's secrets extend beyond this. The skeletal remains of a B-29 bomber, a relic from a bygone era, weigh heavily on the narrative of the Colorado's historical impact. This bomber, which crashed during a high-altitude atmospheric research mission in 1948, lies silent beneath the waters of Lake Mead. Its discovery serves as a poignant reminder that environmental changes can act as time capsules, unearthing forgotten chapters of history and highlighting the profound impact of human activities on our planet. To comprehend the dire state of the Colorado River and pave the way for effective solutions, it is imperative to analyze the root causes that have plunged this once mighty waterway into a concerning drought. The intricate interplay of weather patterns, particularly the unsettling fluctuations in rain and snowfall in the region, has emerged as a significant factor, leaving a profound impact on the river's water levels. Originating at the Continental Divide, the Colorado River serves as a lifeline for over seven U.S. states, catering to diverse needs ranging from agriculture to sustaining growing urban centers. However, the impact of human activities, notably the expansive footprint of industrial farming, cannot be overstated in the ongoing crisis. 
The demand for water in this arid region has led to a substantial portion being diverted for irrigation purposes, posing significant challenges for the river's overall health. Weather instability serves as a critical player in the unfolding drama of the Colorado River's diminishing waters. The region's vulnerability to erratic rain and snowfall patterns has resulted in a precarious imbalance upsetting the delicate equilibrium that sustained the river for centuries. The irregularities in precipitation have proven detrimental causing water levels to plummet and triggering a cascade of repercussions for the ecosystems that depend on the river's vitality. Scientists grappling with the implications of this weather instability are confronted with the grim prospect of water levels teetering dangerously close to critical thresholds as the very source of life for vast agricultural expanses and burgeoning urban centers. The Colorado River's decline poses a direct threat to the operability of crucial infrastructures like dams and turbines heralding a future where electricity generation and water distribution may be compromised. Industrial farming emerges as a significant contributor to the plight of the Colorado River, exacerbating the challenges posed by unpredictable weather patterns. The expansive agricultural practices in the region, aimed at producing vast food crops, come at a cost. A massive diversion of water resources, approximately 75% of the Colorado River's water, is siphoned off for irrigation fueling the agricultural engine that sustains millions but exacts a toll on the river's once abundant flow. The intensification of industrial farming not only depletes the river's water supplies but also leaves behind a parched landscape, serving as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between human needs and environmental sustainability. The ramifications of these practices are far-reaching, prompting collective concern among scientists about a future where the Colorado River once a symbol of vitality, might be reduced to a mere trickle unable to meet the ever-increasing demands placed upon it. Navigating the intricate web of legal agreements and rights governing the resources of the Colorado River presents a formidable challenge. The Law of the River, a complex compilation of laws, judicial rulings, contracts, and rules, dictates how water rights are distributed among the states sharing this invaluable resource. This intricate legal framework traces its origins to the 1922 Colorado River Compact, a pivotal agreement that has shaped the management of water in the region. Over the years, these agreements have evolved in response to the changing dynamics of water usage and distribution. The federal government has played a significant role by approving landmark deals such as the Central Arizona Project in 1968, which have further complicated an already intricate system. Water rights allocated based on seniority confer the authority to extract water from the Colorado River. Looking ahead, the future of the Colorado River appears bleak. Scientists predict a permanent decrease in water levels of 5 to 20 feet over the next 40 years. This ominous forecast is attributed to various factors, including climate change, reduced precipitation in the Rocky Mountains, and rising temperatures. Consequently, the river's flow is expected to diminish further, potentially affecting electricity production, agriculture, and urban water supplies. The challenge now is to find sustainable solutions to mitigate the impact of the Colorado River's drying. As the river continues to reveal alarming secrets and its water becomes scarcer, the need for effective conservation measures and innovative water management strategies becomes increasingly urgent. What are your thoughts on the Colorado River crisis? Leave your ideas in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.